What up, it's your boy, Incredible Mini. Yes, I am back at it again, and this is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord Season 2, aka How Not to Summon a Demon Lord Omega Episode 8, man. And last week's episode was filler, but it was still a decent, enjoyable episode. It wasn't too much going on, but it was a nice, pretty decent, fairly decent episode. So let's dive into this week and see what's popping off, man. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes Oh, that's right, she, uh, gets, uh, motion sickness, right? I don't know why they're playing it like she's dead, man Oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh uh she's her hand fell flat and everything okay yeah okay so we're diving straight back to the uh story let's get it man son they came out deep didn't they <laughs> But it's it's good. Yeah, we're diving straight back into the story now, though. Look at all these extras. <laughs> well, I mean, come on now. We know that nothing's going to get out of hand. Yeah. It has been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Let's get it, man. Let's get it, man. Episode 8, Visit to the Royal Capital. It's so crazy how every isekai uh, royal capital... <laughs> it's just a big old city with, with a, a circle. There's a whole bunch of walls around it. Look at look at your girl. Look at if he wished it, I'd buy this whole building. <laughs> it seems a little weird that you know, you know, it's in this whole situation because we haven't seen her for a while. But it's nice to see Alicia back, man. <laughs> now what is your relationship with it <laughs> right right things could get heated Well, yeah, now she's she swore loyalty to Diablo, man. Like she's exists solely for Diablo. Look at that tension, son. Son, I'm, I'm <laughs> I can't even I can't even <laughs> I can't even, man. And she is full, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh like see they sprinkle in little things like this, man, and it's and it's and it's weird because it catches me off guard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. 
Okay. Uh <laughs> Right, it's not like Diablo's gonna die all easy. Oh wow, that's that's the picture. That's that's what they think about. Y'all in the same predicament too, though. I mean, you have these collars around your necks too. Everybody looking at Diablo. <laughs> I'll take it back. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I'm not mad, man. Like, the, like, like I, like I normally say, the comedy always hits, man. The stuff is starting. It's gonna start to change too, though, man. We get to like a, a a really complex part into this uh story. Hey, Alicia, you're looking kind of bad. I see, I see you, Alicia. In in many ways, you can. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Is that really the case? Maybe you guys wanted to be with Diablo? Yeah, because all they care about is power. It's not even about religion or anything like that anymore. It's about solely about power. and status. Yeah, they're untouchable right now, though. Boing, yoing, yoing, yoing. <laughs> this woman is crazy. <laughs> but she's not wrong, though, man. I mean, because for them to be church members, they are they are out there, man. And they want to kill this one innocent girl. See, I knew it. I knew it. Oh, now that's creepy. That is creepy. <laughs> they keep flashing charging like she's a, a phone or something. <laughs> That's creepy, man.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, uh, kiss me. Kiss me. <laughs> A kiss, more than likely. <laughs> please, please charge me please charge me like this that's, that's how I want you to charge me <laughs> bless me with your magic power <laughs> oh my gosh uh, uh, okay okay <laughs> oh my gosh they're doing too much man they're doing too much somebody gonna walk in oh my gosh I can't man I don't know, she, she ain't got to make all these noises, man. You ain't got to make noises. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> My master. Oh, it's like two little plugs. Well, don't be falling out half naked on the floor. <laughs> okay, man. So now we're getting back to the serious stuff. Yeah, see, it's all about uh, it's, it's, it's money, power, and status. And all the people that didn't agree with him died. So, of course, they're willing to betray him. Because, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude about it, but you're naive. She's very naive. But she's she's young too though, man. Uh oh. <laughs> you can't be saying all that. <laughs> right. The law can't intervene. Yeah, we can get to a fight now, baby. But uh, see that, that see that there's that naivety. <sighs> oh. 
I mean, I get it. Like that's 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 like that's the right kind of mindset and everything. But everybody's not, you know, that kind of way, man. Like they're not looking at you like that. Because, like, let's say it's like half and half. Like, for the for the bad half, there's there's a decent amount of good people on the same side. But like at the same time, these bad people are doing very bad and atrocious things, and they're not trying to be nice about it. They're out here killing and murdering people, even like some of their own followers. And you're still trying to talk to them and convince them through traditional methods. That's not going to work. <laughs> and and you think they're trying to they're going they're trying to give all that up. Well, I want to excommunicate you guys. Sure, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. The thing is, though, is because they're at the they're at the bottom of the total pole, so they don't actually know what's going on. But the higher ups are corrupt, and they don't know that. But see, like they think he's just a great guy, he's not. Like, how how would he know that you're already there? See, like, that, that speaks volumes. So, oh, his expression tells it all. He's not even surprised. He put on a surprised face, but he's not surprised. Well, I get that she's trying to excommunicate him in front of all of these other followers, but. Yeah, but it never go. Things never go according to plan, man. See, I told you, told you, I, I screamed it from the mountaintops. She's too naive. I told you, man. See? 
Should have listened to Diablo from the beginning. From beginning? From the beginning, yeah. <laughs> I think, I honestly think Diablo allowed her to go this route so he could prove to her that is her way is not actually going to work. <sighs> well, you should have listened to Diablo, man. You can see like they're all under a trance. The, the the young kid is not, but everybody else is like under a complete trance and bamboozled by this guy, man. She's so naive, man. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you gotta just you gotta you gotta show a little a little faith, man. Things are getting good now though, man. Just just wait. Just wait. It's it's gonna get great, man. Okay. Oh yeah, they, okay, they're gonna storm the church next. Okay, okay. Okay, man. That was How Not to Summon the Demon Lord season two, AKA How Not to Summon the Demon Lord Omega, uh, episode eight. Uh, dude, it was, it was good, man. Like the comedy was spot on. I was laughing the entire time. And when it got serious, it got super serious. And the point to where we're at now, like the story's finna change 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 drastically and it's gonna you're gonna see some different things like it's still gonna be a little bit of comedy in there i'm assuming because that's you know that's what it is but it's gonna get a little bit more serious because we're dealing with something of a serious nature now and this episode like the whole beginning half of it was more comedic it was more we got um reintroduced to alicia and see that she set up a lot of stuff in the capital and you know she's been making a lot of money she's super rich now and she set up this place for Diablo and everybody else. Now, we also see that she's been investigating the church for Diablo because she knows that he's traveling with Lumakina in tow. Now, the back half of this episode, we see that they got the information about the church and they wanted to investigate it. And Lumakina wants to go confront the uh, the bishop and everything and, you know, kind of just, no, no, what is he, a, a priest? No, a priest, bishop, uh, whatever, he, whatever he is, uh, Vashos or whatever his name is, um, go confront him you know, kind of put him on blast and on front street and excommunicate him and his cardinals from the church because they are a bunch of crooks and criminals and murderers. They even tried to have her killed. So she has all the information, but like I said, the dude is already, already so established and deep rooted in everything that's going on. And because of her naivety, she, she went there with a clear cut plan, but it backfired because she didn't really just fully back it up and didn't really understand the premise of what was going on. Just because you have this little bit of information, you can't attack certain things like this head on. Things like this have to be done behind closed doors or in secrecy. You can try it head on and you can make a little leeway, but you won't make much. And that evidence shows 
And that's how we ended up in the predicament that we in where she kind of just not so much as sacrificed herself, but turned herself over. So the other people wouldn't be, be killed or hurt and they wouldn't put any kind of blood on the, you know, front gates of the cathedral. Now, the only thing about that is, this, and, and like I said, this entire episode is that she's so naive and there's nothing wrong with having hope and faith that things will work out in the end. But you also got to have common sense as to know when to, when to when to take action and when not to take action and the ending part of her not taking action and kind of turning herself over i can get behind that so like all of these other people wouldn't be injured or hurt because we have uh the little boy that was there that was offering up prayers like he wasn't like kind of just mesmerized like everybody else was and she thanked him and everything for the prayers and so she kind of just turned herself over but Everybody else was, you know, kind of bamboozled a little bit. And if that would have took place, a bunch of innocent people would have ended up being killed and hurt. So I understand that part. But the part of her trying to confront him with all of this mountain of evidence, but not even having to, like, really officially back it up because you didn't have anything but this evidence. Of course, he's going to deny it, deny it, deny it the entire time. And I feel like that's that's the, the naive side of her. And we see that horn dipped out. Horn got a little terrified and a little scared and Horn dipped out. But stuff is starting to pick up, man, and we're getting to the good part. So I just can't wait for next week's episode, man. This your boy, Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button until you can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them and subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember, the anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out. Hey, yeah, I